Appreciate you coming out, bro. Yes, sir. You know the deal. Tell the world your name. My name is XJ. You can find me everywhere on all platforms. That's just the X and the J. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, bro. So how long have you been doing rap for? Um, So I've been around it all my life, basically. Yeah. But I started recording like about maybe five years ago. And that was, you know, band lab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I started. It was just on band lab. Just on band lab? Yeah. So I just had, you know, some people were saying you get one phone with the beat, one phone with the voice memo. Oh, yeah. I was doing that for a bit. And then I, I learned how to use band lab a little bit. And then, yeah. What I do? I look, I, I just transferred. I went, because band lab at the time was garbage. It was like when it first came out, basically. Yeah. But um, I started I started working on the soundtrack. I don't know if you ever heard of that. I, maybe. <clears throat> but yeah, it was on Soundtrap, and then I got a job, and um, I saved up my money to get FL Studio. Uh, so I started working up on FL Studio and learning everything on there. And everybody be saying, like, FL Studio is garbage, but you just got to learn, you know? Yeah. But I yeah, feel that. Five years, and now nah, people say I got good with it. So, What made you want to start, um, I guess, doing it? So basically. And, and, are, and are you trying to, like, do it for like long term yeah i want this as my career bro but yeah um, i i got it from my family my my on my uncle my pops yeah they they was recording all my life so every time i was little just in the studio with them and just listening to them and it, like it, it inspired me obviously but i i sound nothing like what they were making at all you know yeah so i'm just in a whole different place but i don't know him my dad um my uncle their family like cousins and everything, they're all yeah. trying to do it. So I don't know. I just never, I never recorded with them really. I probably mm -hmm. did like one song with them, but we never finished it at all. And yeah, I just took matters into my own my own hands. And my dad just taught me a little bit. Like he just taught me how to write bars. Because at first I was just writing just to write, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I got it from my family basically. I was around it all my life. So yeah, yeah. Damn. So like the. You showed me a video earlier. Of, um, <clears throat> who'd you say was the what's that guy's name? Oh, feedback. Shout out to feedback. Yeah, feedback. That video is hard that you showed me that he's working on. Yeah, can't wait to see that, bro. Crazy, man. I, I can't wait for it either. I haven't found any other videos. He hasn't sent me nothing yet, but he's on <laughs> vacation, so I, I ain't complaining. Bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the song name? Uh, the song we got is called "Fuck XJ." Fuck's X. Fuck XJ. Yeah, yeah. So it's just it's a crazy lit song. It's like lately I've been working on making rage rage beats. Okay. So it's just all year long I've been using my own beats and I've been making rage beats and everything. What made you want to be like on that type of beat? Um, I don't know. Just the whole time I've been experimenting. I was just doing like regular just rap, trap. Like I was trying to be Cometazine for a while, <laughs> and then I was like, you know, I'm gonna try to use my voice more because I I send yeah. my music out to streamers to okay. give me feedback. And, um, what do you mean like, streamers? Like like Twitch streamers. Oh, okay. They'll react to your music and they'll tell oh, you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like they would do that. I'll do that and then they'll tell me like you should use your voice more and try to experiment and expand it and try to use everything you got. What kind of, sh or what streamer was it? Uh, I was every random streamer on Twitch, but the main one I go to right now is called Next Up. Next Up? Yeah, it's just Next Up. And um, yeah, I send them my stuff all the time and then. They say I'm the most improved so far, but I've been sending them my music since like 2018. Damn. Yeah. So, so you've been doing it for a little minute? Yeah. They've seen the growth in me and everything. But That's dope. Yeah. So at first I was just trying to be like fast rapper and just normal stuff from Albuquerque, I guess. But yeah, um, yeah, they were telling me I should use my voice more and experiment, see if I could try to sing and I try to get more melodic with it. Yeah. And I'll do all that stuff. So now I can say I can kind of sing, but not too much, but I can just layer my vocals and everything yeah but yeah but i get you to to work to get where i'm at it was just like i don't know people compare me to yeet a lot and to I'm, who to yeet who's that oh yeet yeah oh they said eat <laughs> no but yeah people compare me to yeet a lot but i don't even like his music like that yeet yeah i just like the beats he be on you know yeah i don't know i just something about me i love hearing the hard basses and like Hard yeah. hitting drums and everything, and yeah, all yeah. that crazy sounding. It's like trips, you know. Yeah, but that's I get I like. you. So that's why I'm going for it. And to that's be honest, dope. it's like it's just fun to make, you know. Yeah. So that's what I go for. Whatever's fun to make. 
That's dope. I uh, well, I seen with that video that you had. It kind of, it did sound like a little bit like kind of like the Yeet type beat or like yeah. a Playboy Cardi type beat. Because yeah, exactly. I've looked up beats like that before. And yeah, so like the beat is like I think it has like a guitar in it, so it's just like. Oh, it's like electric guitar. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's just that's it was like Cardi type of style. Yeah, that's just pretty yeah. dope. Yeah, oh, yeah, that video looked pretty hard. I can't wait to check oh, that bro. out, bro. I can't wait either, man. <laughs> I'm hyped. When did you guys shoot it? Um, it was a couple of weeks ago, maybe two to three weeks ago. Oh yeah, yeah. It was just a bro. That kind of that kind of quality level videos, bro. Those videos take a minute, bro. Like, yeah, he's he's taking up. But that when they up. drop, bro, it's just hard. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. crazy. He's, I think it's gonna be like one of the best in Albuquerque so far. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. So who do you know, like? Uh, out here, have you done like shows? Yeah, I've I barely started doing shows this year because I've I've always been scared. Really? Yeah, I've always been scared. I couldn't like record in front of my my own family. I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't do nothing. Bro. Do you record in front of your family? Not no more. No, not I never have actually. Oh, I barely ever record around my friends too. I feel like, like I don't feel like I'm my full potential at at that point. But you got to be like by yourself. <laughs> yeah, so I do everything all by myself. And yeah. Especially when I'm recording, I just feel like I sound stupid, you know? Yeah, I get but you. <laughs> I've been shy all my life, so I never really, like, I I never performed until this year and New Year's at K9 Multimedia. <laughs> I was there, bro. <laughs> really? I think so. Yeah, on New Year's, I was performing. That was my first show ever, and then ever since, it's only been there. Um, Who are you I, with that night? I was by myself. Man. Oh, you're by yourself? Yeah. There's another person I interviewed. Uh, I don't remember their name, but... uh. They said they were there. I think it was uh, this kid. Uh, what's his name? Master C N N. Oh yeah. You know I what know. I'm saying? I think he was there that yeah, night. I think so too. Maybe. I'm yeah, I think sure. he was the one that said that he was there, and um, I was like, for real? And he said he was there by himself too. Yeah, yeah. So that's that was crazy. My first time there. First time doing a show ever. Did someone invite you there? Or um, so just pull up. Uh, you know, really reals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, him. That's the boy. So I, I've known him for a while. I don't know yeah. what year. We made a song a long time ago. We was just we was tapped in. Yeah. And I saw that he was with K9. Okay. And I was asking him. Like, I think I hit him up and I asked him if I could do a show there. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, just pop out New Year's over here. And just did a little <laughs> quick was dope. three songs, probably three, four songs. Yeah. And then ever since, we, I've done like five over there. Yeah. But, yeah. Do you know, uh, like, Slick? Yeah, and Slick. everybody there. Yeah, they're all cool. Yeah, they all been cool. Man. They're dope. Shout out yeah. Slick and K9. Yes, sir. And Rails. Shout out Rails. Yep. Dope. That's dope, bro. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I didn't even know you were there. There was a lot of people there. I think that night. Yeah, I, it was a decent amount. I think I was kind of lit though. Really? I don't remember. Maybe. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> I feel. But yeah, no, nah, it was it was a fun night, bro. Yeah, it was cool for my first yeah. time, especially. I felt. I felt like at home, basically. I was a little yeah. shy and nervous, of course, but yeah. ever since, I feel like I've turned it up a notch every show since. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. So, um, I guess, do you, like, have you done, like, more than just that show? Have you done, like, maybe a couple of them, or was that just yeah. it? Yeah, it was just a canine. I wish I could do more, bro, but, like, I feel <clears throat> like, so I want to do, like, bigger artists, you know? What do you mean? Like different, like bigger ones, like they're more popular. Oh, at their shows? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, wanna, okay. Like open up for them. But oh, yeah. the thing is like the way my music sounds is like far from theirs, you know? Yeah. So it just feels like it wouldn't be the right timing. Just pop out whenever you see like an artist that kind of, I guess, has the same style? Yeah, basically. That's what I want so like I can attract their fans, you know? Yeah. So instead if I just go to some somebody completely different, they're just going to be like, what is that, you know? Yeah. I want to be a little more smart about it and not waste money. Yeah, but I just haven't found the right people. But I don't know. I'm thinking of just throwing my own shows and <laughs> yeah. figuring it out. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's yeah. dope. I've seen on your page that like uh, your color is like based around green. Yeah, yeah, I love <laughs> green, man. That's is why. it like you just like that color? Or? Yeah, ever since I was little, it's like eye candy to me. Yeah, it's like the the color that popped out the most to me. And like, um, growing up, my dad was an Eagles fan. Oh, you know, okay. It's green. Yeah. But it's like the wrong green. It's like. That's like a dark green, huh? Yeah. So, like, for me, my football team, I just ended up picking the Seahawks. <laughs> for real? Yeah. I love their green, bro. It's yeah. Like, like that bright, 
bright that green. Neon green. That's like my. It's just eye candy to me, bro, and I love it. Yeah. That's the only reason why I like surround myself with green. Like a that's lot dope. of my music covers are just black and green. Black and green. Yeah. That's a dope little theme that you got going, like yeah. on your page. That's dope. <clears throat> yeah. Definitely, if you pop out with the show, you should like. Yeah. Dress I, all like green or not yeah. all green, but like <laughs> black yeah, and green. I, I have um. I have this guy, his name is Decon. Yeah. Yeah, he works with Riot. Do you know what Riot is? I don't think they're so. Like, no. They're like these people that throw party shows. And like, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Are they here? Yeah, they're here. But okay. They, I think I follow them. Yeah, his name is Decon. And um, yeah. he has like all the stage equipment, all the lights and everything yeah. like that. And he's willing to help me out with all that theme and stuff. The oh, okay. With the green lights. And That's that dope. Too. But we're just trying to figure out the right time to do all that stuff too. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Hell yeah. So you're born and raised from here too? Yeah, I've been here all my life. Rarely ever traveled, to be honest. I wish I did, man. But I've only been to like Colorado, Arizona, and California when I was like a little kid. Bro. Yeah. But that's really it. I feel you, bro. Yeah. I've been to a couple of places too, honestly. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while though, but yeah, I just went to Denver last year. For a football game. Yeah, I was in Arizona last November. I went to go see um, Destroy Lonely and Homicide Game. Oh, okay. Do you know Destroy Lonely? Man? I don't think so, no. Uh, yeah, I went out there. <clears throat> it was like a last-minute thing. My it homie, was a concert? Yeah, my homie. Oh, okay. My homie was going out there, and he was driving alone. I was like, nah, you're not going alone, man. So <laughs> I just went out there. It took some days off of work, and we were out there, and we just drove. After that, after going there, it inspired me, bro. Like, yeah, I was like, cause it was like kind of like more my sound. I, was I feel like, you. Damn, I could just be like them one day, and, just, and then I, I once I got back home, I made like a seven song like project. Yeah, just in two days, bro. Made yeah, a seven song project, and I dropped it on New Year's. That's dope. Yeah, I'm gonna so. have to check it out, or you're gonna have to send it to me, yeah, bro. It's, it's called it's called um High Plus. High Plus. Yeah, that's High dope. Plus. So it's just like seven songs and. It was just kind of like me starting the new sound that I'm at now. Yeah. That's basically what it is. But, and then ever since all year long, I've just been using my own beats. So you make your own beats? Yeah, I've been making my own beats all year. So I I, I started making beats around like quarantine time because, you know, we had nothing to do. Damn. So you mix and master all your songs? Yeah. So Damn. Like quarantine time, that's when I was like boring, you know? Yeah, I, I play a little bit of video games, but then that that got boring too. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna start, <laughs> I'm gonna start trying to make some beats. Yeah, and it was just terrible. So that first. that that video that you showed me, that was your beat. Yeah, bro, all year long they've that's been on fire. Beats. That yeah. was a fire beat. Thank you. And then, um, yeah, so I just been making my beats and just trying to learn. I look up videos on YouTube and just figure out like, like just the way to build it up. You know, yeah, construct a beat and how to make the drums kick and everything. And I just learned it all myself, you know? Yeah. Just putting in time to learn. <clears throat> I feel you. Yeah. No bad. Song was whack. Yeah. That's dope, though. So, like, you were a gamer, obviously. Yeah, I still and I still play a little bit, but not too much. What games? Uh, like I, play, Call of Duty? I play COD. I play a little bit of Fortnite. <laughs> you still play Fortnite? I barely got back on, like, this year, bro, I stopped <laughs> playing for like four years. Damn, yeah. for real? I used to play it a lot, bro, but I stopped playing for like four years, maybe. Damn. I used to play like nonstop, bro. For real? Yeah, but. What made you want to stop? You just got bored of it? Yeah, the way they changed it up, bro, it's like they changed it up completely almost. And I was like, man, screw this. It's too, like, too much of like kid game now. <laughs> yeah. So, On Fortnite? Yeah, and then I just oh. started playing COD more. And, my homie would try to put me on the other games, bro. It just wouldn't interest me at all. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't. I was like, eh. And yeah. Yeah. That was like basically it, bro. I, I feel that, bro. Oh, I also play a little bit of Apex, too. Yeah. You play that Apex. before? I suck at that game. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, everybody be hard. jumping around. Yeah. I, yeah. That's I definitely that. a different breed, bro. <laughs> yeah. I play like Battlefield and Warzone. I don't think I ever played Battlefield, but I know it is. Yeah. yeah, I think the best one was Battlefield 1 that came out like 16, 2016. Yeah, I remember. I think my pops had that before too. I just never played it. That one's fun. Yeah. It's not as populated as it once oh, was. Oh, yeah, but... bro. I remember back then it was popular. Yeah. yeah. 
every now and then I'll hop in the lobby and I'll just shit on everybody. And yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll call it a night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's dope though. So like during quarantine, you just, I guess, just kind of just messed with it. And then yeah, I was just tweaking around, trying to learn new things, <laughs> learn new vocal tricks, new beats, and I was trying to find like drum packs, like mm. live beat packs and everything. Yeah, but. I was being cheap as hell, and I was just trying to find some free ones. I was going on Reddit looking up drum kits. Oh, okay, yeah. I found some cool ones. I have. I don't think I've ever bought like any drum kits or anything. For real? Yeah, I've, I've been finding like free sounds. Like they're called one shot kits, and I just look up like like a type of artist. I'll look up like a Yeet one shot kit, and they'll just have like all the sounds and all the synths and everything. So, oh shit! Hell yeah. Yeah. The only thing I really bought on there is like I bought Auto Tune, and I bought this plugin or a VST called Serum. Yeah. And that's what a lot of good producers been using Serum. And you just look up YouTube videos on how to like make sound waves and make your own sounds. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what that's I'm dope. learning now. <clears throat> yeah. Hell yeah. So I guess like I know it wasn't easy trying to make those. So. <sighs> no, nah, man. It took me a long time. Like, like I said, this year I've yeah. been using only my beats. And like it took me about two, three years to finally use my beats. Damn. I couldn't, like, I would make a beat, and I'd be like, damn, this is dope, but I couldn't get on it. It just wouldn't sound right with my voice at all. I got you. Yeah, so I just, like, finally found a way to use my beats. And, like, and then also I've been producing, I say I produce a lot of, like, wide-range genres. I've been making beats for Lil Jit, too. Okay. And it's just, like, more of that trap, south side, the slower beats. Yeah. Because I like, I like up-tempo, like, high BPM, like, yeah, fast beats, you know. I get you. But I've been making him some slow, like trap stuff, you know, for oh, like yeah. the smokers and all that. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah so. that's dope. So with uh, those beats that you make, like, I'm assuming that when the first time you were making them, it wasn't easy. Like it was probably like ugly, right? Yeah, like nothing was. I I didn't know how to level the 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 instruments at all. Oh, okay. Like sometimes the hats would be too loud. The drum would just be very loud and then like the melody you wouldn't be able to hear it sometimes was there ever like a time where you kind of just like gave up i guess because you just yeah i kind of stopped making beats for a while and because i was like damn this is way too hard bro like, yeah people don't get enough credit for making beats but then after a while i gave it a chance again bro and it's like damn it's gonna take a while but i'm gonna do it like i just pushed myself more into it yeah yeah because i was like i want to I want to be like my uncle's been telling me he's like you need to just, like learn how to make your own beats and use them so that like you don't just go on YouTube and like it, the song blows up and you could get sued for it you know for real so he was just kind of motivating me in that way so I just kept going and pushing myself into learning that that production stuff yeah so I've been just doing that damn yeah that's crazy that beat I can't I honestly I can't wait to see that bro I'm excited for yeah that. the song is out now and everything bro but. It's just a video. I have to on. check out the song too. Yeah, the song's pretty cool. Man. And it's called what? XJ. Fuck XJ. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Are you like saying fuck you basically? Yep. <laughs> yeah, because I honestly I feel like like a lot of the city it's like mixed emotions with my music in the city. Yeah. Like I have people that are really really like fuck with my music. Yeah. And um, some people just be like, yeah, that's terrible, bro. But it's like <laughs> I feel like my music you just need to give it like. A couple more listens yeah it's like not a song like my music's not the type you would like right away after one listen you know i get you so like if you just go through all my music and just listen to it back and back and back you'll end up like liking it eventually okay but then again for me like since i make my own beats i do a lot of things it's like you have to listen for it, you know i get you yeah so i don't know i just my stuff is more made for me you know yeah. I, I don't try to like please nobody here I just make whatever I think is cool. I feel that, bro. Yeah, so. Just got to do what you got to do, whether nobody likes yeah. it or not, just as long as you like it. Huh? Yeah, exactly. So that's just that's the whole point of it. I just make it to have fun. I do things that I that I learn. I'll learn some new tricks on vocals, and I'll try that, and I'll be like, damn, that sounds sick. But then sometimes that stuff just flies past people's heads. I get you, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I do it for, is just experiment and have fun. yeah. Yeah. That's dope, bro. Yes, sir. That's that's crazy though, cause like, <clears throat> I don't think I'd have patience to do that, bro. Like to learn that, I barely have patience, and it's just like <laughs> anything else, bro. I I'll give up on anything quick, bro. I, my patience is low. But <laughs> since I, I love that. music so much, bro, I just yeah. push myself, bro. Cause like 
I know where I could be in like yeah. the next five years, bro. And as like, long as you're dedicated to yeah, that. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like that's what people say. As long as you keep putting the work for one thing, you're gonna end up getting it, bro. Exactly. Yeah. And it's all about that dedication, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that's like with these, bro, these videos I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. And that's what I appreciate, bro. You just yeah. you keep pushing putting in the work, bro. It's gonna Hell work, yeah. bro. Appreciate that, bro. Yes, bro, and normally we don't do this like in our pad there's been like a couple of videos like maybe yeah i noticed i think one yeah i think so well there was another one but it had to get deleted just because of personal reasons but uh, yeah and anyways <laughs> we're trying to get a whole couch out there bro at the oh yeah at the pat hurley yeah that'd, that'd be, be cool. dope like something not like well maybe like this that'd be dope eventually but yeah i feel you bro like cameras that'd and be pretty cool. lights you know what i'm saying yeah i think it'd be dope yeah it'll pop out more yeah, for real, definitely. But that's gonna take some some time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But how yeah, bro? So you just graduated high school? Yeah, I graduated last year from Albuquerque High School. Albuquerque. Yeah, bro. How yeah? How uh? So you're making music then? I'm assuming, right? Yeah, yeah. I was I was playing baseball. I played baseball all my life since I was like three years old, bro. Oh, okay. So it's like sometimes. Most of the time, actually, I'll just play baseball throughout that season and, like, no music. Oh, okay. So I'll just, like, alternate between them two, basically. Yeah. But I say about junior, senior years when I was just doing it both at the same time. So, oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because I feel like I wanted to, I wanted baseball to be my future, like, so badly all my life, bro. But Why didn't it? I had, like, a bad experience with the baseball coach over there. Oh, shit. <clears throat> yeah, he kind of, like ruined it for me like my after my freshman year i was on varsity damn but he would like treat me terribly so after i think it was a summer we had like a summer game and we had a little thing going on and uh i was in the transfer of schools i was gonna go to rio grande bro and that was like probably one of the biggest regrets i've ever had bro just not going to rio grande because they're, they're really good bro and i knew everybody there bro they're all my boys and um but I, I decided to stay at Albuquerque High because I was cool there, bro. I was alone. I didn't really talk to nobody, bro. And school was cool, bro. Like, I was doing good. Yeah. But um, I just wish I went to Rio Grande, bro. I would probably be in college right now playing baseball and everything. Yeah. I mean, I would have been in college now, but I just decided not to go, bro. I just wanted to focus on music instead because I was like, damn, I just ruined my senior year up. Damn. I just quit. I quit mid-season, bro. So I was like, I feel that, bro. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I'm I'm about to do uh <laughs> hopefully an interview with a baseball player. Really? He's uh from UNM. He's one of my homies I grew up with, but oh, that's dope. That's he dope. got I think a scholarship for baseball. I think he's going to some college or something. I don't know. I don't know what the college is called, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah. So like, you played baseball all your life. Yeah, bro, ever since I was, like, three years old, bro, it's just been in my blood, basically, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I've always been the smallest guy, bro, and but I was always, like, the strongest, hitting home runs most of the time. Shortstop? Yeah, I, I was, I'm was i left-handed, bro. Really? All my life, I grew up playing shortstop until <laughs> high school, bro. Yeah. Until high school. That's whenever, like, they say, like, left-handed, like, lefties can't play, like, shortstop because it's, like, more awkward and harder to get the play done. Really? Yeah, you have to turn all the way around and make a throw and all that, bro. So, I they, they put me outfield. Down. I was playing like center field, left field. But I, I like outfield too. It was pretty fun. Yeah, I didn't mind it at all. Outf then, outfield also, was definitely fun. <clears throat> yeah, and then I pitched too, bro. I was always pitching a bit. Yeah, yeah. Were you getting a lot of strikeouts? Yeah, it just it depended, bro. In my yeah. in my in my days, I had like I had a couple no hitters and everything. Yeah, yeah. I was I was pretty good. I'd say. I don't know how to read like baseball stats because I was looking at that kid's stats. Oh yeah, and. It was just a bunch of like letters and numbers. Yeah, there's and I was way like, too many in baseball. Bro. I was like, what the fuck? I was way like, way too many. I was looking at all of it though. I was just like, yeah, yeah bro. I don't know what's going on here. There's way too much. <laughs> For real. Yeah. But hell yeah, bro. So how was like your childhood growing up? I know you said you're shy. <clears throat> yeah, um, it was good. Like, I lived in the South Valley area, and I don't know. I just, my neighborhood. I never really had like any like kids around. You know. Yeah. So there was probably like one, bro, but it was like they were like a weird family, and like low key they would steal from me, bro. They would steal, they would really? steal my bikes, bro. They would 
take a lot of stuff, bro. They were like basketballs and stuff. And I was like, damn. So I was like, all right. <laughs> That's and, fucked up. Yeah, it was weird <laughs> as hell. But um, I don't know. It's just me and my little brother. Yeah. And and then I had a friend that was like more up the road. And we would meet up with him at this park. And then we had another friend up the road, too. Mm-hmm. And we just go to school together. But they're kind of far because we would just ride bikes, you know? Yeah. And we just go to the park and mess around with the Rio Grande because I live right by the river. And uh, we just ride bikes and just go around, you know, just do yeah, our own I feel thing. You. But, and then also in school, I'd say, I mean, in elementary and middle school, I was like more of the popular kid. Really? Yeah. Everybody knew me and everybody wanted to be with me. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know, I was more open back then. But yeah. once, once high school came around, I decided to like change my ways and be like more low key and focus on my school and try to get things done and yeah. try to become more of a man, you know? I feel that. Yeah, because I didn't want to be, like, immature anymore at all. That's dope, bro. Yeah. Not a lot of people. <laughs> I know myself, shit, I'm still, like, immature as fuck, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, all my friends, like I said, I grew up with, yeah. um, they went to Rio Grande, bro. Yeah. So I was supposed to go to Rio Grande in the first place, but I decided to just go to Albuquerque High and start fresh. That's dope. Yeah, so I knew a couple people there that I grew up with, and um, so I only had like two friends really, and um, you just kind of were low key. Yeah, in like my junior senior years, bro, I just like for lunch, bro, I just chill in my car, bro, alone. Really? Yeah, most of the time I was alone. I wouldn't. Were I you making music during that time? Yeah, bro. Oh, okay. I was just, and everybody knew that too, bro. But they were just like they didn't care, bro. You know? Yeah. Like I didn't try to go out my way to interact with anybody at all. Yeah, yeah I kind of. Like, wasting my high school experience doing that, really. Yeah. So, but I don't know. In my senior year, is like the worst time of my life, basically, because when I quit baseball, it just put me in a deep depression, really. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, I cared about baseball a lot, bro. Yeah. And I, like, I stopped going to school for, like, a month. Yeah. And, like, all my grades were F's, and I had a full schedule. And I somehow got through it. That's crazy. Yeah. So I figured I pushed, like, the last two weeks of school. I started going back to school, and, like, I started pushing myself, and, I graduated, bro. Damn. It was crazy. It was so refreshing, bro. And then, like, summer came around. I was like, damn. I just look back still. I'm like, damn. I I don't even know how I did it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel that, bro. Yeah. I've been through that, too. But things are getting better now, and this is dope, bro. Everything's progressing. It's it's going slow, but it's working. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, though. I appreciate you coming out, though, bro. Of course, man. This is dope, bro. And I want to be a part of this for sure, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. We definitely have to get another in the future when we yeah. have. We could go longer and That'd get more good. into depth with everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just follow but, the careers, bro. Yeah. Update everybody. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. I always forget the day ones. The ones that don't respond. <laughs> Shut up, Sally. Sorry. That's my dog. But anyways, um, yeah, the ones that don't respond, then leave me on red. Fuck you. Y'all not too cool for this. (laughs) Not trying to be mean, but fuck you. But anyways, uh, yeah. But we're gonna get we're gonna go crazy with this, bro. Yeah, bro. Hopefully, bro. I swear, y'all the only ones doing this. Yeah. Everybody's gonna see the potential eventually. Yeah, we'll we'll get there, bro. Trust me. But hey, is there anything positive you want to say before we wrap it up, bro? I don't know, man. You just gotta keep working on what you want to do. Um, if you got a dream, bro, don't be embarrassed of it. Because I know growing up, I was embarrassed of making music. Yeah. So just push yourself, bro. Express yourself and love yourself, bro. That's really all I got to say, man. Yeah, I feel that, bro. Yes, sir. Just got to keep that dedication. Got to keep going. Yep. And as long as you love yourself and you love what you're working on, bro, you should be fine, bro. You, should not care. you shouldn't care about anybody else's opinion. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir, bro. Uh, shout out your handle and then spell it out so people can find you. And my 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 username is illustxj i l l e s t x j. But I'm planning on changing it because I changed my whole entire name on on um the music platforms. Yeah, it's just xj now. Xj. But I'm trying to find a new handle for Instagram because I made that name when I was like 13, bro. <laughs> and I I hate the word illist, bro. Just, just put like, some like dots or some i don't know what to do underscores <laughs> yeah but anyway if you want to find me just look up xj bro you gonna find me i swear yeah hell yeah yes, sir appreciate you coming out bro i appreciate you bro. oh yeah
Catch you another time, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs>